Hi everybody, this is Vicki and I have made some ornaments um, or tags, whatever you want to call them. They're the Primitive Heart um, um, die cuts, but I did not have the um, the die for them. Uh, I had uh, thought I had it and when I looked, I only had this one here, which is a Primitive Hearts number three. And that one was this size. So um, you get four, four hearts, which um, the smallest one, oh, here it is, is here. So that's what that one is. Um, it's not the other one, which I don't know. I think it's bigger than this. Um, maybe slightly bigger. I don't, I don't know. But... I decided to make my own so what I did was um, I got my my chipboard which is a thick chipboard um, from I get it uh, the 12 by 12 size from Walmart I usually order it online um, and get that and so it's fairly heavy and um, it runs through the die cut machine like this, and I just did this one with the uh, the number three die. But um, uh, what I did was just use the um, chipboard, and I just cut my own. You know, I just I just cut it with my Tim Holtz, you know, scissors, and um, made my own hearts. So that's what I did. I made them bigger than the this primitive die and um, so I just like so just cut and um, and it's not going to be even you know the same you know look at this <laughs> so it's not going to be even but I did was able to make some so anyway so that's what you, it comes out to be you can just kind of play with it or you can, you know, actually draw it and then cut it out. I just did freehand. And then for the back side, I used this um, uh, Claudine Helmuth uh, Studio Gesso. And I really like this. I use it for a lot of different kinds of things. But um, um, I just get this and um, with my finger, just kind of do the sides and everything of the back side and then the other side is um white already so uh, that's what i get i have the other one that has you know but um just that one color uh not a not a color on it but i i really like to use the um the white so i don't have to do too much um i can leave it if i want to use it like this I can use it like this, or if I want to put paper on it, I can put paper on one side, and the other side is already white. So that's what I have done with the ones you see on the um, camera here. <clears throat> and I started out doing um, the one because I just fell in love with the ones that Joan Norwood did. If you haven't already seen it, go over and look at her channel. I think sure most people <laughs> watch my videos have already gone to Joan Norwood's. But um, she makes the be most beautiful um, tags and cards, and I really like the way she does things. Um, and I fell in love with her um, primitive heart dies or um, tags. So I wanted to make that first of all, first my first project for um, for Christmas. And so I made this one, and she used the gingham. Mine was kind of bright, so I kind of toned it down with the. Um, with some white um uh that um the gesso and um you can also kind of tone it down with um some uh distress ink you know on the sides and so i did make them three different sizes and i did each one with a lot of glitter and i like that and um little jingle bells and I have this stamp here that I just want to use this um, on this project 
I thought it went well with the hearts. And it's by um, Printworks. That I got this last year at a stamp show. And um, I used that one. Um, Add Love. And has a little heart there. So I just covered that with the, um, the glitter. Um, it's a glitter glue. And I painted that and did around the edges of that. Put a little bow at the top. This is from um, Hobby Lobby. And then just some, um, some, I guess this is yarn or twine from, um, uh, I, and for my stash. And so that's what that one looks like. And on the back, I put a to and from. I didn't do it to all of them yet. Um, haven't finished off all the backs, but um, this one I just put the world map that I got at um, Hobby Lobby in a roll and so um, that's what I did with this one and then I have this one which I also did three um, you know stacking of three and Jill did this with um, some snowflakes uh, I think this one here I did with the um, vellum that I I have a uh, I have a um, punch actually I have a few punches and so I used the punches I think I have this one um, this is a paper studio and then the other one I used was this one here which came as a set with a snowman and um, so I got I think last year on the Christmas tree so I just die cut, a, or, or not die cut, I just punched a bunch of those kinds of things and um, put that on. So this is the um, punches that I used and then I just tied some, um, some of this, um, I think this is an 8 inch of um, seam binding. I think I got this on Amazon. And then a little charm, I put that on. And then the back, I didn't finish this one. So um, we'll see what I'm going to do uh, to or from, or um, I'm not sure. These are going to be for Christmas, for the Christmas tree, as Christmas tree ornaments. Then I did a series of white ones. So I think um, these came out really cute. This is the tree from. Um, uh, EK success so there's punches so I just use the punch and then I use this uh, this punch also to put the um, add love um, little tag on there also and I haven't finished that one either and I did this white one which I I like the look of the um, that wood um, distressed wood white um, painted white so I thought I'd make it similar to that I did my daughter's invitations like that so for wedding invitation I'll show at another date but um so I did that on here and put a little reindeer and bell and didn't do that one either but it's white so I can um, do well, you know the print or uh, stamping on the back there's another one with a Christmas tree, the snowflake, the the uh, snowman, little um, flower, and lots of glitter. In the back, I put love. There's another white one. So this one has, um, I think I um, die cut these out last year, so I have a bunch of little um, die cuts that are left. And so I just added that one on there. And then I put this paper. This is papers from Hobby Lobby, their their brand. And um, I like this distressed wood look with the painted on it. So I put that on the back. It's actually on the front too, but I covered it all up. So let's see. And here's another white one with a snowman. And this one's a triple hearts. And you can make them any size you want if you just cut them out yourself, you see. So um actually works out even better. 
it's just the one heart with the with the Christmas tree and snowflakes. And then this is not done also. I'll just finish that one up. Um, I just did this simple little one. I just like the look of the pink on there. So that one. There's another three heart one that I did with this um, Daiso tissue paper. So you can use tissue paper or you can use um, cardstock or um, whatever papers that you have. Cover it with those papers, but I like the look of that tissue. It's like a decoupage and put a little um, gingham bow on, or button on there with a little knot and with some twine I have. And then I have these little um, Merry Christmas. I think it came in a pack with sequins at um, Michael's. So I thought that was really cute. There is also this one, which is a single and put lots of twine on here and, and the, the thick um, snow and lots of glitter. So that one's not done also. And then this one here with the love and just a couple of the die cuts on the back here. So that's uh, those are the ones that I've made. I also did a little, not really a card, it started out being a card, but it's awful big. But um, I was just playing around, so I did this one and um, did with paper and that's also the um, chipboard pieces. And I just cut out a little tree free form and added that to that. So I can use it as a card eventually if I want. Then, let's see, I think I made um, one other, which I might have to show you at another time because I, I don't seem to have it here with me. Let me see. Okay, it's it's a tag and it's, it came out really cute, but um, for some reason it's hiding. So um, this is all I have to show you for today, but I will come back and um, I think I'm done with the heart heart series now, but I think I'll do some um, other, other ones I've been wanting to work on. So um, anyway, so that's what I have. And I hope you enjoy this video and you can just make your own with um, cut, just cutting out. A heart is real simple to cut out. So um, easier than a gingerbread man or anything else. So I thought um, that would be a good one to do. And um, hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.